Hey there. I sure get to see a whole lot of new things traveling with you. I gotta say, I'd love to watch Silence try and wrap his head around this, uh, teapot of yours. If you're asking whether it's a comfortable place to stay, I mean, sure, of course it is. But, um, I couldn't really see myself living here for the long term. Sorry. No, nothing's wrong at all. Everything's great. Very charming. It's just that I'm more used to camping out in the wilds. I'm sure you know by now. Back where I'm from, not a day goes by without something to watch out for. Like giant machines running around all over the place, or hostile tribes that always seem to have it out for you, or evil machines bent on global extinction. To go from a life like that to something so safe? It'll take me some time to adjust, that's all. Hey there. I sure get to see a whole lot- I gotta say, I'd love to watch Sil- Sure. Something new to share with me? You know, I've heard a lot of stories about you since arriving in this world. For example, the time that you helped the knights from Mondstadt to defeat a dragon, and the time that you teamed up with the Adepti in the Yue to defeat an ancient god from the ocean. Gods and dragons. Can't believe they really exist here. But whatever the crisis may be, you always step forward and join up with those who want to fight back, don't you? It's because of people like you that both cities were able to survive and prevail. If that's what you call a small contribution, I think it might take saving the whole world to count as a major one. Seriously, though, if the world ever does need saving, bring me with you. I've saved a world once before. I might be able to give you some pointers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Trying to save the world when you can't stop thinking about food is pretty tough. The end of the world deserves your full, undivided attention. Seriously, though. Trying to save the world is exhausting. Especially when you're not even sure who's trying to end it. The worst part is, once you find out who's responsible, they're always so full of themselves, making out like you're the one in the wrong. You can't reason with them. It always comes down to a fight. I guess that's just the way it is.